Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today we will discuss about means how to set multi-factor authentication in Office 365. How to change the mobile name, mobile number of MFA. Okay, multi-factor authentication. And third thing we will see that how to change the authentication method in Office 365. Like suppose. Uh, at present you are getting OTP as uh, for this two-factor authentication uh, on your uh, as a mobile SMS number okay and now you want to change it from SMS to uh, authenticator app so this will see how to do that okay so first we will see how to set a multi-factor authentication in Office 365 so let's start and before we start so i request you to please subscribe my channel this is my new channel and uh, if you want video related to office 365 azure and cloud then request you to please subscribe my channel and like my videos let's start now so we'll go to office.com first from here we'll go to admin panel okay so suppose we have created a user now we want to set up multi-factor authentication so two options either you can go directly to multi-factor multi authentication or you can open that user okay scroll down and from here you will go to the same place either you can search multi-factor authentication or you can directly go to the user's property and from there you can go to this multi-factor authentication search search for that user here okay and from here you just enable this user done now second thing is how to change or add a mobile number you'll go to azure portal for that and from azure portal click on this active directory users and from users you select the same user. okay so from here what you can do this is the place from where you can add or change your number okay so here we will add this So how do you want to authenticate via email ID or phone number? Okay, so I will select phone number. So provide your number here. So it should start with plus nine one if India number, then any number. Okay, add. So like that we have added this number if you want to change just click on this and add it and you can change the number suppose user has forgot uh, his mobile number and he want to authenticate with the colleagues number then you can add give the temporary access like this okay so this number is added now <clears throat> let's see how to how that user otp will you will get the OTP from the teacher. You will see that part. So let's go to office.com. Sign in. First, dot user. see i have entered their number so how i am getting this otp now sorry uh, to uh, two factor authentication through sms okay in next step i'll tell you how to change it from sms to authenticator now i'll receive one call okay 
let me see whether I have to yeah, I have received the code. So enter the code here. Okay, now this is the way you have logged in. But suppose you don't want SMS, okay? Suppose you are in different countries. Now your SMS is not working. Now you want to use Authenticator app. How to do that? Let's see. So you click on this view account. Hmm? After that, you'll go to the security part. Okay, so here authentication method is phone. Okay, we will add new authentication method from here and we will select this authenticator. Okay, now next. Now you should have authenticator app in your phone. Okay, you can download from App Store, Microsoft Authenticator app, and open that app. Now I am doing from my phone and I am telling you that I, I have opened the authenticator app, Microsoft authenticator app. Now I'll click on plus and work or school account. After that scan QR code and here I am scanning this code. Okay. So I have scanned this code. Now I'm clicking next. I'm done. So now see what message you are going to let's try it out approve the notification we are sending you now so now you have to approve it i am approving from my phone i have approved now click on next so now i have two authentication method okay i can delete this one also you can delete this one also now only one method authenticator you can keep two also okay that is not an issue so i have now Authenticator app only. So if I close this and open again the same ID, just password. to provide the see enter the code displayed in the authenticator app on your device so i have to provide that code so, eight seven four nine four zero next I have to provide here. See, first time I am logging, so that's why I need they need all details. This is one time setting. I will show you again after finishing this. Six, eight, nine, six. suppose we have done everything first setup is done so now i'll close this and show you again just to avoid the confusion sign in see now I will get only that enter the code displayed in your authenticator so 
now no sms only authenticator app will work here okay, so my code is one eight nine five nine four very good that's it now this time system should not ask anything okay so that's it this is the way so we have seen that how to set multi-factor authentication in office 365 how to change your mobile number or set your mobile number uh, through this azure portal and how to change the authentication method from mobile or phone to authenticate app. okay so this was it about uh, multi-factor authentication and friend request you to please 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 subscribe my channel and like my video and share as much you can thank you